Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are on a mission, my husband and I, to go to Home Depot and find um, a plant or like a boxwood or a tree of some sort for our outdoor planter. I'm gonna insert a little video clip of what we're working with here. It sits right on our outside porch and it gets afternoon full sun. So we're gonna go see if we can find something and then maybe we'll plant it up. Come with us. Home Depot. Is part sun which is great because our planter on the front porch only has afternoon sun and its hardiness is down to negative 20 which is great because we're in Chicago and I think we're zone 5 ish and this is small what do you think about this one babe it's pretty it's a shrub so it'll stay short and it's cheaper but it's so tiny should we get two of them Maybe we should get two of them. It's a 15 inch pot. And this is, looks like an eight inch. Yeah, and put them side by side. I like these. I think we're gonna do it. Okay, so as you saw in the clip of the pot, there's a lip around the top of the planter. So we're going to plant these shrubs and then we're also going to pick out some flowers that we can kind of scatter in the front of the shrub so that they can kind of hang over the edge. So let's look for some flowers. All right, so now we need some potting mix, um, which I think will go with just regular miracle Grow and some mulch. When your husband's recording you. It should be the other way around. Mush. <laughs> We're not gonna need all this. Try it. Why not? Okay, let's check out. Is that umbrella? Yeah. Now I'd be outside all the time if we had this in the backyard. I would sleep out there. That's so cool. It's only a thousand dollars. We can get that, right? Mm. 
We're ready. Woo, it's chilly in Chicago today. I think it's only like 38 degrees or something like that. Anyway, we just got our shrubs and some violas and some um, soil and some mulch and we're gonna get it potted up with the kids. All right, so we're back at the house and we are going to get started potting this up here and i'm going to show you what we're working with so we have our shrubs here this is the azalea gerard pleasant white it's going to form these pretty white flowers and then we have the violas that we bought so we're going to put them in the pot say hi hi all right One flower, two flowers. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting my jacket dirty. So we're gonna fill this up with some potty mix soil. And then we are going to pop the shrubs in and we're gonna top it with mulch. Mulchy, mulchy. Right, let's dump it in there. I think we bought way too much potty mix. We're gonna make a little hole there for these fellers. See these little balls, little green balls there? Those are slow release fertilizer. So we're gonna keep those there. One, uh, I think it needs to come up a little higher. Great right there, right? That looks good. Ooh, nice root system on this guy. So, you know, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to have a decent amount of space in between these two. However, we're gonna just go with the flow on this. One would have been too small for this pot. Okay, now we're gonna top it off with another bag of soil. Shazam! <laughs> I love it. Okay, so now in this front section here, we are going to put these, oh, they're not violas, they're pansies. We're gonna put these pansies in the front here. For this video. These roots are like, look at that root system. That's why I don't know if these are coming out because they are like, I might have to cut them out, which is fine. Look at that. Now that, my friends, is a healthy root. Look at how white that is. So we are going to dig a little hole, pop it in there, and cover it with soil. I think these are gonna look really pretty. Bam! Wow, these are ready to be planted. Okay, another one. I think I'm gonna try to fit a couple more in the front here and maybe pop a few in back because these are gonna get a little bit taller and they're gonna flower and I just feel like I don't know maybe we want a couple in back. I'm not sure. Okay we are going to place some of this fertilizer here. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this right on top, right around kind of like the root ball area. And then we're going to cover it up with about two inches of mulch. All right, I'm gonna grab some mulch here. I'm just gonna place it along inside. 
We decided to go with the black mulch to keep it looking like soil. I think it has a nice contrast. Okay guys, that is it. I think we're good to go here. Thanks so much for joining me in this video. And if you have any requests for any more outdoor gardening videos that you wanna see, we're gonna start getting started on the yard. So if you wanna see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up, leave comments in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me. Thanks guys. We're gonna need mulch, I think, because, um, yeah. Pukahan, Pukahanis, I cannot pronounce that. Recording. Oh, you put it in the poop pit. Oh, we don't have a poop pit. Wrong house. Whoa. Look at these. Sunglasses on top of my head, babe. Oh, look like at princess over here. Sorry. Movie star. Well, like sunglasses, please. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'll uh. put them behind <laughs> my ears. They are behind your ears. They're no. on your hair. <laughs> yeah, they're in my hair. Man, this is difficult. There's a dog pooping in front of our house. <laughs> That's more difficult. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, we are going to place some of this fertilizer here. Gosh, everything's like sealed to no end. Ah!